Today I'm going to be sharing my current everyday makeup routine with you guys. I haven't done one of these videos for a while and I thought I was kind of due to do one. And while my look doesn't really change that much, it's usually pretty neutral. The products that I use do change and I alternate things and swap things out. And these last few weeks, I've been trying a lot of new products. I started using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation, which I know I'm the last person on the planet to be trying that, as well as a couple of new things from Becca that I'm really liking and some things from Buxom because Buxom just launched on Ulta.com and in Ulta beauty stores and they let me pick out a few things to try. So let's go ahead and get into it. So starting with that Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation, I'm applying this in the center of my face and working outward. I find this is always a good technique to avoid getting that harsh foundation line around the edges of your face because you're applying the majority of the product in the middle and then blending outward. I've also been using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, which I'm really loving. It has great coverage, and so I'm applying this underneath my eyes, around my nose, on any blemishes, and then I'm just blending this in with the same brush that I use for my foundation. And then on top of that concealer, I'm layering the Becca Under Eye Color Corrector. I just raved about this in my recent monthly favorites, which will be linked down below. This has a glossy, balmy finish to it, so it reflects light and really opens up the eyes. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Can't forget the brows. I'm using the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade to fill things in. My right eyebrow is such a pain, but I'm still making the effort. Then I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer to do a little contouring. And I always stick to that classic 3B method of creating a three shape from my forehead, around and under my cheekbones, and then along my jawline. For blush, I'm using a color from IT Cosmetics called Je Ne Sais Quoi. How pretty is this ombre powder? And it's really pigmented, so I have to use a light hand with it, but the color is so gorgeous. Then next, I'm moving on to the eyes. I'm priming my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Minor Sin. This is a rose gold color, and it's so pretty on the lids, you could even wear this by itself. For eyeshadow, I'm using the Buxom Dolly's Wild Side Palette. One thing that's really cool about this palette is you can remove the shadows and buy refills for ones you run out of, or just swap shades out if you wanna put different shades in it. The first color I'm using is a shimmery rose gold, and I'm applying this all over my lids. Next, I'm taking the light matte taupe color and contouring my crease a little bit, and I always like to use a fairly large crease brush for this so that the color is a little more diffused. And then last for eyeshadow, I'm taking the lightest color in the palette and tapping it into the inner corners of my eyes to brighten them up. For eyeliner, I've been obsessed with the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencil for a while now. I'm using the brown shade, and I love that I can create a really thin line with this, and it's also mechanical so I don't have to sharpen it. After curling my lashes, I'm using the Buxom Lash Mascara. This stuff doesn't clump at all, and it really lengthens my lashes. And it's also one of the easiest formulas to remove. I don't have to scrub at my eyes at night to get this to come off. And then for lips, the Buxom Satin Lipstick in Poison Nectar is my jam right now. It's so hard for me to find peachy lipsticks that work for my skin tone, and this one is just perfect. And then on top of that, I'm layering the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in Allison. What? I finally found a beauty product with the same name as me. This is one of Buxom's best sellers, and they have over a hundred shades in this gloss. This is a shimmery peachy nude shade, and it's a plumping formula, so it teams a little bit, which I love. And that is it for my current everyday makeup routine. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe. Huge thank you to Ulta Beauty for partnering with me for this video. I will have a link down in the info bar where you can check out the products that I used for this look. And that's it. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.